With the International Space Station now complete, the European Space Agency is about to embark upon its third long-haul stay in orbit. ESA astronaut Paolo Nespoli from Italy will soon board the Russian Soyuz vehicle that will carry him to the ISS, along with crewmates Dmitry Kondrachev from Russia and NASA astronaut Catherine Coleman. It will be the start of a six-month mission, for which he has undertaken two years of intensive training. Once on the station I will be a flight engineer or a science officer. 50% uh, of my time will be dedicated to uh, working on the station to make sure that everything works, uh, do maintenance, uh, uh, do corrective maintenance in case there is any problem. And then 40% of the time will be dedicated to specific experiments that could be science, could be technology, could be educational. And then uh, the last 10% we will use it for uh, maintaining our physical uh, fitness and form and uh, also for other little things uh, like email uh, and other stuff. With all of Europe's elements now attached to the space station, its astronauts can take full advantage of this unique facility in orbit. Paolo will follow a program which includes over 30 science experiments and technology demonstrations. He'll also be showcasing a new ESA camera called the Erasmus Recording Binocular. In combination with the cupola, a panoramic flight deck which was attached to the station in February, this will produce stunning 3D views of both the Earth and the space station. During the mission, Paolo will be using his privileged position in space to run educational programs for school children. One of these, called Mission X, will encourage healthy eating and exercise. Another, called Greenhouse in Space, will invite children to grow plants on Earth whilst Paolo does the same in space. Results will be compared after two months to show the effects of microgravity. Aside from his science responsibilities, Paolo's role as flight engineer will involve participation in the docking operations of two unmanned cargo spacecraft. These are the Japanese HTV transfer vehicle and Europe's ATV, or automated transfer vehicle which will be paying its second visit to the International Space Station. This is a fully automated vehicle, but nevertheless uh, it needs to be monitored uh, because when it approaches the station, something could go wrong and the station could be in danger. It's about 20 tons of vehicle that comes towards the station. And in case I will see any problem, I can actually push uh, a button and send it away and then we can redo docking some other day. Early next year, another Italian ESA astronaut will join Paolo in orbit. Roberto Vittori will travel to the station on board a 12-day space shuttle mission. He'll also be delivering a European space instrument called the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, which will probe deep into the universe to help astronomers understand its origins. This mission will be Paolo Nespoli's second voyage into orbit. In 2007, he took part in a 14-day shuttle mission to the ISS. Yet, despite the valuable experience gained on this flight, a long-duration stay on board a vastly expanded space station will be a new experience in many ways. I feel the privilege of, uh, of being sent in space to work in space uh, in six months. Uh, yes, there is a little bit of, of penalty with the family, friends and other activities, but I think it's a good time, uh, time frame to make the space station your house and actually get into a rhythm to be very productive and accomplish what we are up there for. So it's a little price to pay. As Paolo meets the challenges and rewards of a six-month stay in orbit, ESA looks forward to a new year of scientific and technological advances as a partner on board the International Space Station. <laughs>